People are always looking for love, especially around this time of year. And in an era of technology, we're meeting more people on our phones. We might even meet the people we end up sharing our lives with on those phones. We're talking about dating apps. Millions of people try them every year, swiping left and right, but officials are seeing more of these swipes, which are leading to dangerous meetups and in some circumstances, leading to more crimes. Channel 8's Angelica Brown takes a look at the issue to see who's at risk and how you can protect yourself in tonight's Channel 8 Close Up. It's the moment we all want. That moment you decide to share your life with someone. It just kind of clicked. I mean, I knew in a couple months' time that she was so special. For Ashlyn and Wesley Goswick, it all started with a smartphone. Um, on Tinder, online. I had never tried it before, so I thought that it would be... Um, I just figured I'd give it a shot. The shot that led to swiping right and dozens of messages leading to a first date. <laughs> I'm sure it was some cheesy pickup line. Something I, yeah, like something that, like yeah. that probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it worked. It yeah, did work. it worked. <laughs> Technology is everywhere. More people are turning to online dating every year, and every year it gets easier to try it out with new free apps created all the time. Ashlyn and Wesley are just one example of the happy ending you can get. Never ever want to do that again. Ever. Ever. <laughs> but not everyone has a fairy tale experience. For months, I made sure that I had my conceal weapon with me just for my protection because I didn't know what she was capable of. This man doesn't want to be identified but is sharing his story with us after meeting a woman on Match. We talked a little bit on online, talked twice on the phone for less than 10 minutes. We agreed to meet at Starbucks. We met at Starbucks and uh, had a nice conversation. But things took an odd turn. He says she followed him home, which was in a gated community, tried to get through his front door, and even sent intimidating messages. She would say, I know you're home. Uh, we need to answer the door. And then she started crying. At, towards the end, she started crying and telling me that, uh, that she knew that just from our conversations in our 30-minute meeting that I was the one and spend the rest of her life with and we would get married. She wanted to see where she lived, was going to live, is why she followed me home. A woman, he says he started to fear not knowing what her next move was. That was kind of what I, my fear of was getting involved in the first place with this, is you don't know them. And meeting them, anything can happen. Lieutenant Jeremy Nolan with Tulsa Police Cyber Crimes is not surprised by any of this four years into the department and he readily admits he only hears about online matchups that ended badly we've seen tons of cases um, um, they've led to numerous other crimes being committed the department has investigated some dates made on the app that have led to rape cases more recently he says some predators are sending child pornography through the apps this person is going to extort you for money hey you pay me this money or i'll call the police and say you have it um, we've seen several cases of that um, that we've we've been able to make arrest on and when it comes to these apps everyone can be at risk no matter your gender or even your age the internet provides so much wealth of, of information about people because we're posting stuff on a daily basis like figure out your work schedule, break into your house, burglarize your place, steal your stuff, steal your car. I mean, there's so many possibilities. So what does that mean if you're looking for cyber love? It doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. What it does mean, you need to be more cautious every time you're looking online. Not everybody's in it for inappropriate reasons. Like, there are people out there that are looking for a relationship. When you decide to meet, do it in a public setting. Let your friends know who you're with and where you'll be. And some classic love advice, take it slow. See if you can do some more research on the individual that's on the other end. Um, get some information that you can verify who they are. All to make sure you not only protect yourself, but your heart. Angelica Brown, Tulsa's Channel 8. Many of these dating apps are working to make users feel safer. Tinder recently announced they'll add a panic button that you can push if a date gets dangerous. Others are working to let people know when a sex offender's on the app. From the